So yesterday, I spoke to more than four parents and their children who came all the way to Bangalore to take admission in various biotech colleges. And they came to meet me personally in our office. And they all were sharing their own insights and market research, whatever they have done before taking admission. So I found out a big and major flaw and mistake which they were, they were about to make and I stopped them from making. And the same thing, I'm making this video to tell you. And that is, when you are getting started after your 10 plus 2, you wrote neat exam, you could not score well, no problem. Biotech industry is uh, welcoming you. But when you are trying to get in, please do not make this mistake of getting into a specialization in your bachelor's itself. Now, what do I mean by that? You have to first build the base, okay? So without the base, if I don't have a strong base, can I stand here? I cannot stand, right? The same way, bachelor's is the base of your biotech degree or the biotech knowledge. If you're trying to do a specialization in bachelor's itself, then it is going to backfire to you when you are, when you will try to get a job, okay? So let us say that you are trying to do a BSc in regenerative medicine or BSc in a very specialized, say, nano medicine or something like that. And you first thing is you will not find such courses anywhere, maybe in some niche colleges or some very renowned colleges you might have or say BSc in genetics. You don't need to do that. Please don't do that. Instead, just do a plain BSc in biotech. That should be sufficient or BTEC in biotech. First, build that base because see, in plus two, 10 plus two PUC, you have been taught botany and zoology, but biotech is totally different than botany and zoology. It is something beyond botany and zoology. So you need to first build the base of biotech knowledge. And that cannot come unless you've done BSc Biotech or BTech Biotech. Once you've done this, then only you should go for a specialization, say, a regenerative medicine, nano medicine, or any such thing which you want to do. And during your bachelor's also, you can do some add-on courses with Biotechnica or any other platform and you can learn those things. But if you're trying to do a specialization in your bachelor's itself, it is going to backfire you because after bachelor's, you, when you look for a job, or masters, when you look for a job, you will not get a job because you have a very specific degree and there are hardly one or two companies in that field. Remember, biotech is a highly specialized field. I agree. But first, you have to build a T-shaped personality. So T has got a base and then you have a deep domain knowledge which you have to build for that particular. So you have to bachelor's is the base and the T, the bottom of that T is a domain-specific knowledge which you can get only in MSc or PhD. So this is how you have to strategize. This is how you have to study. Please don't get uh, carried away by those BSc in clinical research, BSc in genetics, or you know, uh, BSc in a specialization, say nanomedicine or regenerative medicine. There's no need of that. Instead, in the masters, you can do all of that. So first, build your biotech knowledge base. On the top of it, you can do the specialization. This is my advice to all of you. If you have any further specific questions, feel free to comment below in the comment section and I will try my best to reply to you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.